What's up everybody? Check it out. Look what I've got today guys. It is a mystery gift that I got from Yak Mama. You guys know how she likes to spoil me. And I'm starting to think that she likes to get me fishing stuff so I'll leave the house. I don't know because it seems like for every holiday or every birthday she outdoes herself. And look what she's done this time guys. Check it out. I've got the Shimano Curado DC guys. This is the very first digitally controlled reel I have ever owned. So I thought, why not do a full review on it, guys? It, as you can see, check this out, guys. There's ice on the water. I'm probably not going to catch anything. That's not the purpose of being out here. I just wanted to come out. It's a beautiful day. I want to show you guys how this thing casts, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to throw uh, what I've got tied on here. Let me show you what I've got tied on real quick. It's not very heavy, so the casting distance is probably not going to be like crazy far i mean i don't know maybe it could i've never really thrown this thing i've actually only cast it a couple times so far just because i couldn't contain myself and i had to hurry but i've got on a super finesse little bitty worm and a bullet weight guys so that's all i've got um i've got it on 12 pound mono and i have it on a seven foot three jason christie falcon and this is a medium heavy guys so those of you that have that that have had a digitally controlled uh reel before you'll know what i'm talking about but this is a braking system that has a computer chip or a microchip or whatever you want to call it inside and what it does is it acts as a motherboard of sorts and it automatically applies the brakes as needed you literally have just a few settings let me see if i can get this in here on the side here and we'll go over all of those in the close-up now i've got this set on the number two setting which should be the mono braid setting from what i've understood oh my god that sound i love that sound that's just something that you don't get anywhere else besides a digital brake reel the way it retrieves i mean it's got a super smooth retrieve so far i'm gonna see if i can't get this look at it look at it skimming across the ice here it's literally just ice out there but the fact that we can get out today and what what is it first of february second of february and actually cast our They always say that. Yeah, Punxs Punxsutawney Phil. Really? Yeah. He's in uh, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Okay, guys, let's do a couple more casts here. Let's let you guys get a good listen to the digital brakes. That way, everybody that doesn't have one of these can be jealous. It's actually casting really far for having this light of a, a lure on it. The action, the retrieve is very smooth. It's just as smooth as any other reel that I've uh, that I've used in this price range it's nice guys I, I don't have enough yeah. good things you guys are a little close I have enough good things to say about it God that's going 40 yards easy with this on it against the wind too that is not bad at all Did you love it? yeah this is a it's a pretty slick reel I really really like it Oh yeah, that is money. Look at that. Love it. All right guys, I just wanted to 
cast it a few times in like real world settings that way we could be against the wind um, and that way you guys could actually hear the brakes and whatnot um, but what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna take you inside in the office and we are going to take the reel off of the rod and we're gonna get some close-up shots for you guys and we'll go over the whole thing inside <laughs> guys I am in the office here we are back at the house um, let's get some close-up looks of the reel um, my first impression guys of this reel is it looks a lot like you know Shimano reels Shimano reels have kind of their own uh, their own type of look I guess their own style so it's, it, to me it has the classic uh, Shimano style to it but um, that being said, I mean, their Shimano's just got a, an overall sleek look, in my opinion. It's very clean lines, uh, very low profile. So it's definitely got the new edge look, you know, the newer style, if you will, of uh, reels as far as, as far as the bait casters go nowadays. The paint job, let's see, I don't know how well you guys can tell on camera, but the paint job is like a, it's almost like a, like a blue, like a bluish gray. It's real hard to describe, um, but it's that classic that like, uh, it's not quite as blue as I think the other Curado K or something like that is. I'm not sure I'll, I'd have to look at it. This is actually my first Shimano uh, bait caster um, that I've ever owned. I've owned Shimano spinning reels before, but um, this is the first actual bait caster by Shimano that I've owned. So I'm getting to uh, experience Shimano uh, for the first time with the DC. So I'm super pumped about that, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and just go around it. We'll start um, the obvious in the back. Uh, you got your clicker here, your disengage your engage whatever you guys want to call it everybody calls it something different um, where you open your spool um, it's got a really firm click to it um, there's no mistaking when it's down and when it's not it's a legit click it's actually got quite a bit of resistance when you go to re-engage it like that it's uh, so it's pretty firm you can tell it's uh, made very well the spool itself guys I've got line on it because I as you've seen I did some casting with it um, 12 pound mono is what I've got on it right now I'll end up putting braid on it um, but that's just what I put on it to do the uh, casting test um, spools rather deep uh, it's got a pretty good size spool so you can fit a decent amount of line on it I'm not gonna go over the exact specs of line um, that you can put on it if you guys need to see that just check out the Shimano Curato website and uh, you can find out from there um, we'll go ahead and go to this side right here it's the 150 HG by Shimano is what it's got right here on the side the tension knob is gold accented um, it's got like a it's like a black I guess I should say um, finish with gold accent actually works very well with this reel that was the first thing I noticed and I didn't quite care for it when I first seen it but the more I the more I get to looking at it the more I get used to it the more I actually do like the finish on it um, right here on the top you can see I don't know how well you can see that but it says micro module it's actually got the microchip inside that takes care of your braking the star drag um, it clicks you got the click star drag which you know everybody has their own opinion about the clickers the actual uh, tension knob though itself does not click which I find is uh, rather sad because I, I prefer tension knobs that actually have the click adjustments I know they don't do anything special they just click I just kind of like that added feature 
um, but back to the star drag um, along with the actual handle um, it is a aluminum um, it's not plastic it is definitely made of aluminum as well as the uh, tension knob and it is like a flat like an army green almost which is a very odd choice to go with this but like I said before with the tension knob it actually works I mean it really works with it um, but I don't know how well you guys can see that but that is like a like an army green almost like a forest green I guess not quite even a forest it's like a olive almost um, with black accents also it's just hard trying to get you guys a, a good look at it here um, handles made of rubber they're not the foam handles um, I would like to have some cork handles put on this I'm a big fan of cork myself but um, this is what it comes with standard you've got your rubber handles which um, don't get me wrong you can actually get a really good grip on these the material is is pretty pleasant um, I've had some plastic handles on some of my reels before like some of the loose reels um, come with an actual like a plastic or polyurethane or however you want to whatever it is handle and if you're wet your hands are wet or anything like that it can actually slip off quite a bit this one is not going to do that so the handles that come on it are very well made and most of you will probably like it and not have to change it not one bit um, we'll look at the bottom guys your your uh, real seat here um, they've got it painted the exact same color uh, it's not any different color a lot of companies will put like a separate color or maybe even a separate piece that sits up in there this looks like it's all machined out of one piece right here and it is all painted the exact same um, as far as the retrieve on the handle very very smooth uh, one of the smoothest I've had um, it, it rivals the concept Z as far as that as far as that goes um, it has the 7.4 so I'm uh, uh, on the front, which I'm assuming that's a 7.4 um, as far as the bearing goes. Uh, I haven't actually even looked at the specs um, whenever it comes to all of that because I'm not a big spec guy. I'm, I'm, it's just the way it performs. If it performs good, then I'm good to go. I'll look at the retrieve ratio to know whether or not I'm getting a fast reel or a slower reel and that's about it um, but as far as like the graphics and everything that's all you've got you've got your 7.4 right there your micro module right there your 150 HG by Shimano right there and then on the bottom you have the uh, insignia of Malaysia 150 HG on the bottom now on the opposite side over here you're gonna have your Curado DC emblem on there which that's uh, what you're paying the money for guys is the DC um, the big difference about this reel uh, what you're gonna see from the other reels guys is your settings now a lot of uh, other brakes you're gonna you know twist your little knob if you've got your magnet brakes if you've got your centrifugal brakes or whatever you're gonna open it up and you're gonna flip your little switches on the inside this one does not have to do that guys you've actually got settings here now let's see if we can get zoomed in uh, very well at all I, I'm gonna try my best here uh, but I have it on a I don't know if you guys can see that or not a two right now and from what I've the research I've done and what I've know what I've seen online basic your basic settings on here are going to be it's got an open setting where it opens your opens your door up a one two three and four your one setting is going to be basically the free spool with the least amount of brakes um, applied your two is going to be your braid setting and your mono setting and then your three would be your fluorocarbon setting um, and then four would be the most amount of brakes possible for like your really windy days um, so on and so forth really light lures however you want to do it um, I've only casted this right now on the two guys I've only had it out just the one time just wanted to get it out and check it out so I can't tell you how it goes on the other settings but from what I could tell on the uh, two setting it's gonna be phenomenal it's it's really going to perform rather well what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slide this over 
to our open position, guys. We've got it open now. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this open real quick and let you guys take a look at the inside. There's the difference, guys. That's literally it. You've got no brake settings on the inside whatsoever. Your spool does come out so you can clean it, you know, just like always. And you can put it back together just like just like that. Close it up and then you put it on your desired setting like so. Um, other than that, guys, you've got a really narrow, um, some people that, that matters, a, a really narrow uh, retrieve guide. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, I like the way the like the big wide ones look just for the aesthetics of it. But as far as it goes, as long as it works properly and it guides that line in at an even pace, I'm good with it, guys. Other than that, this is the overall look. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now that this is probably my new favorite reel. It probably takes the top spot out of the concept, knocks the concept Z out of the top spot. Um, I haven't got to really fish with it or anything yet, so that might be a little bit premature. But as of right now, guys, I'm freaking loving this reel. And for the money, at a price tag of $249 plus tax, guys, you can't go wrong. I, I say go for it. If you're going to spend the money, if you're going to spend 200 on a reel, spend the extra 50 Get the digital brakes. They work for you. Uh, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of your tuning. I mean, it's just it's just an awesome, awesome thing. I, will, I can see myself getting a lot more digital reels in the future, guys. So that's all that I've got for you. I just wanted to give you a close-up look. I appreciate everybody watching the video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them below in the comment. If you haven't already, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I've got another couple reels that uh, Yak Mama has got me that I'm going to be doing a review on here in the near future as well. So we've got plenty more content like this coming out. But that's all we got for you guys. I appreciate you watching. I want to tell you to make every day count like I always do, guys. You never know when it's going to be your last day on this earth and you want to be able to look back and say that I did everything that I loved as much as possible, guys. Be positive. Think positive. We love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Later. Bye.